attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies say that they arrested two people in connection with the burglary here in Pahrump on Elderberry. Arrested was Joseph T. Nelson and Vincent Scacozo. They were arrested for various charges in connection with the burglary, including possession of stolen property, grand larceny of a gun, exploiting a vulnerable person, and conspiracy to commit burglary. According to the declaration of arrest, deputies were dispatched to Elderberry Street in reference to a burglary that had occurred. On scene was an individual described as an uncle who had cerebral palsy. He was identified as being at home at the time of the incident. This individual told police that one of the males involved was Joey, being Joseph Nelson. Police say that the victim stated that Nelson had called earlier in the day asking if he could come do some work at the residence. After taking a report and inventory of the missing items, which included 11 guns, a camera, camera lenses, two iPhones, and gold earrings, police say that they responded to Super Pawn in reference to two males that were allegedly attempting to pawn items that appeared to be in connection with the burglary. When arriving on scene, police made contact with Joseph Nelson and Vincent Scacozo. Upon questioning, both individuals allegedly told police that they were there to pawn a camera. Police say that the serial numbers on the camera returned as one of the items stolen from the residents earlier in the day. Further investigation revealed that inside the vehicle that both individuals were driving was a black in color Ruger 380. That was also one of the items stolen from the residence. Both individuals were taken into custody by police. During a search of Skakozo, police say that they found the gold earrings inside his front right pocket. And upon further investigation of Nelson's personal property, officers discovered a plastic bag containing a white substance that returned presumptive positive for methamphetamine. Nelson was then booked on an additional charge of drug possession.